You know that you can play a matinee on level load simply by checking this box next to play on level load in the details panel of your matinee. But what say you want to play a matinee at some other point, say for example when a player moves through a certain area within your level. Well to do that you do it with a box trigger. So the matinee we're going to play here is a matinee that has four different camera shots and um, it's got a ball rolling and some fades in and out etc. It's a typical matinee sequence. And to play it I'm going to put the trigger point right near this ball act. So to get a box trigger I go to the place section of the modes panel and under basic down the bottom here you've got box trigger. There's also actually a sphere trigger but the box shape is much more useful I think. So drag that out and what you can see here will be completely invisible during gameplay so you want to make it probably a bit bigger so that it's easier for the player to find the hotspot and the other thing you can do is add something visual to your level that maybe indicates that there might be something that happens when they hit there. I've just put a square there but you could obviously do much more exciting things than that. So with the trigger selected what we're going to do now is in our level blueprint we're going to make a blueprint that says when the player enters into the space defined by this box here that the matinee will then play. So to do that we have the trigger selected and from the blueprints tab at the top we open the level blueprint. Then inside the level blueprint we right click and because we've got the trigger box selected it gives us events for it here and we want to go down to where it says collision and choose the one that says add on actor begin overlap and that means that when the player begins to overlap that box shape it's going to do whatever we put into our blueprint. Okay, so we've got our reference to our trigger box now. The next thing we need to do is select our matinee actor and I'm just going to select it here in the world outliner and with that matinee actor selected we go back to the level blueprint and we right click and we type in the word play and you're just going to choose this simple one here that says play underneath cinematic and that then because we had that matinee actor selected it pops in the play node with a reference to that particular matinee actor. So now all we have to do is connect up our trigger to the play and that means that when the player overlaps that box the matinee that we've referenced here is going to actually play. So we need to click here to compile and save our level blueprint and then I'm just going to save all and if I hit play now I can walk over to my little square and my matinee plays and you can see that when it stops playing I'm left back out exactly where I was but notice how the world has changed a little bit so the ball that originally was um, right in front of me has now disappeared and it's now over where it ended up at the end of the matinee. Now you have the option with your matinees whether you want them to just play once so only to be able to be triggered once or you want them to be able to play every time the player enters within the trigger space and the place that you turn this on is in the section under rewind so with the matinee selected you scroll down the details past play to rewind and this box here if you want it to play every time that the player enters the trigger box you need to check this this box here next to rewind on play if you only want it to play once you wouldn't check that box Alright, so that's one way to trigger a matinee. Let's now look at a different way that you can work with a matinee and a trigger box. So I've got another matinee sequence set up here and I'll just put a box trigger in near it.
Okay, and let's just have a quick look at this particular matinee actor. I've got it set to rewind on play and if I open the actual matinee you'll see that what's different about this particular one is that it only has movement animations and event app animations happening on static meshes. Its director track has no camera shots or anything set in it so there are, and there are actually no cameras set here either. So let's have a look at what that does when we trigger that matinee. So we have to do the same steps inside our level blueprint to attach that trigger to the matinee. So with the trigger selected we go into the level blueprint we right click and we add event for trigger box go to collision and choose add on actor begin overlap now we come back out and we select our matinee actor and with that selected we right click and we type play and from the section called cinematic we choose play and that will put in a reference to our matinee actor and we then can connect it up. So we click here to compile and save, close our level blueprint, save all, and now we can play. So you'll see in this animation it's got an event that triggers a simulate physics and it had a movement track where the T was moving up and down and it had a movement track with the S moving up and down. See what happens now as I move back out and then into the trigger. You'll see how the S, because I match the beginning and ending keyframes of that movement, works really well as a, an animation that triggers again and again. Whereas the T, because it moves out of frame, when it is triggered again, again and again, it appears to pop back into visibility and then disappear again. So if you're wanting stuff that triggers again and again, you need to think a bit more carefully about how you're going to animate it. And it's a good idea to create a first keyframe and a last keyframe that are exactly the same so that you can create a smooth loop. The other thing to notice is that the simulate physics only happens once, so it's not something that you can re-trigger with a matinee in your environment. So there you have it, two ways to add matinee sequences to your game. With one of them, you've got no cameras in there, so the player can just still walk around and look wherever they like, even while the matinee is playing. And in the other one, it has cameras and it has a cinematic sequence that takes over the camera from the player and takes they lose control while the matinee is playing. So it's, in effect, a cutscene.